Today, smoking saves lives. I didn't see you there. Welcome to the uh, Q&A Pizza Power Hour, the, the time and space where I answer all of your questions. There has been a, a need for a Q&A. This is also the second channel. If you're wondering, hey, what's going on with the second channel? There are no rules. I post to it as I please and as I deem uh, worthy. So I can do as I so please. Danger factor has increased. So what I did is essentially I threw out to my Patreon and I threw out to my big YouTube channel or I should say my normal YouTube channel, uh, Q&A. And I was like, let's do a little Q&A. Let's get some questions and answering going. But to make it slightly interesting, I say we do it while I make pizzas. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, then um, you probably don't realize what's going on. But if you do follow me on Instagram, then you know that I have a thing for making uh, wood-fired pizzas. So this is my pizza oven. By Red Mando Commando. Best fictional firearm from a game or movie. Ooh, that one's tough. That one's tough because... Uh, this axe is, or this hatchet's terrible. Um, that one's tough because it's such a preference thing. I immediately go to the Halo franchise and I either think the Halo DMR or the Halo shotgun. Zombie Apocalypse or Alien Invasion? From Chin. Zombie Apocalypse or Alien Invasion. That one's tough because I think with Fungus, the zombie apocalypse is possible, like in The Last of Us. Um, also, Sabi, so do you want to be the build of my Frank? Uh, I think Aliens is more likely, statistically speaking, but then again, you're just going down a weird sci-fi nerd path. I'd rather fight zombies than fight aliens, because if there's aliens and they show up, they probably just melt us. All right, this one's from... Um... Blueberry cobbler. Beans or no beans in your chili? Oh, man, you know what's funny? I'm not a really big chili guy. So I think no beans. All right, this one's from... Ben Wumbo. Do you have any pets? Yeah, I got a dog. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you'll never see her, but she's a sweet little golden retriever. An English cream golden retriever. Okay, what else you got for me? Okay, this one's from Flackbox. My soldier of Christ, why art thou face hidden? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good question. If you're wondering, hey, <laughs> this guy's got a ball club on. Now, the backstory is, is I was a beat cop, and I started this channel back when I was a cop because I just love firearms and I love making YouTube videos. The thing is, is the reason I wore it was not because I was like some sort of Batman. I was more afraid of my department and them hemming me up. That was mainly it. And then when the time of like the vaccines came, my department had the authority to require a mandatory vaccine. So then I quit and just did YouTube full time. That's essentially the backstory. AF SWAT, A F S W A T. Uh, boxers or briefs? Uh, Merino wool boxer briefs. Carl Murray. Where is the Hilux technical build video? Um, Hilux technical build video is coming coming. It's on the way. Me being a gun channel, a high looks build isn't necessarily top threat priority, though I do think it fits in the genre nicely. So there is that factor to it. But yes, it is definitely a thing. Talk to Brandon Herrera about the Dishka and then talk to some other guys about mounting like PKMs and M240s. So um, I want to be more versatile because though I don't own like a PKM or a 240, I know the people that do own them. So getting the proper mounts, getting it looking properly and cool. It's gonna take time and money, so. Um, it will happen, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Kyle Ligman says, if you took that mask off, would you die? It would be extremely painful for also, you. Also, with YouTube seemingly bringing down the hammer, any plans to branch out to other sites like Ultreon or something? Um, I have a Utreon. Uh, People have talked about Rumble as a viable platform. The problem is everyone's like, you should go to Rumble. It's like, well, are you on Rumble? And they're like, no, my Rumble account that I have, even though there's no content posted to it yet, has seen an uptick of followers, but it's still a very small fraction. There goes a helicopter. A very small fraction of my actual following base. So it's like, unless we all get deleted together, my hypothesis, then I don't think Rumble is going to happen just yet because... YouTube is that thing where it's like constantly new populations coming in, you're getting a new audience, and it's like as a creator, you want fresh eyes to your content, so. Okay, Death Ray Dave says, when are we going to meet Mrs. Results? 
Um, she'll be in a video here, here and there. I, I do plan to use her. It's definitely when you're a dude wearing a ball club on the internet. It's like not like I'm gonna show off my wife unless she has a ball clava, so. Okay, this one's from Luke. You can only LARP one LARP for the rest of your life. Which LARP and why? That is a tough question. I think I would go back to my roots and just do like a Blood Diamond roadie LARP, if I'm being honest. I don't know, what would you do? I'd be a cowboy, dude. <laughs> the ball clava is leaf, so it's flame retarded. I mean retardant. I'll answer that question. I know this question's out there in the comments. Where do you get your balaclavas from? All over, all over wherever you can find them. This is an Arcturix leaf balaclava. Where's the, where's the symbol at, Savio? That side right there. This side right here? Yeah. So it's an Arcturix. They're very sought after. The reason I wear it is because it's the best looking balaclava and Christian Craighead wore it when he was doing the SAS in Nairobi thing. Being a hero, essentially, what he was doing. Kane Grime. You get to choose one firearm to re-enter production. Which are you choosing? I don't know, is it cheating to say I want a civilian legal MP7? Is that cheating? This one's tough. This one's tough because it's like you can bring back anything from the grave. Like I want to bring back something hard. You know what I mean? <laughs> hard. You know what? I choose the G11. I'll do the G11. We, should, we deserve the G11. We'll do that one. that one. That one fair? Yeah, it's fair. Okay, this one's from Odin Spires. Do you wash your balaclavas? Do I wash my balaclavas? The question... <laughs> Good question. Sanitary question. The answer is no. It's unlucky. No, of course I wash my ball clavas. I'm not a, I'm not a freaking barbarian. How often do I wear this thing, dude? It's gotta be three times a week. All the time. For hours on end. During summer? Do you know how much I sweat in this thing? During summer? You think I don't wash this? What's, what's the matter with it you? It turns black in the summer. It just turns black. Wait, can I do that? Am I allowed to do that? Is that blackface? What got you into firearms by James Bulver? What got me into firearms? Great question. Um, I think it was definitely video games looking back at it. I remember being a kid and just, for whatever reason, Call of Duty really held this grip on me. Halo, all these first person shooters. You know, it's funny, like, people were like, video games don't make you violent. I don't think they make you violent, but it definitely made me interested in firearms. <laughs> I remember Call of Duty Modern Warfare to make you guys feel old. 2007, I'm like 11. Modern War, the first Modern Warfare came out, and that was like, I, I want, like, something to do with this. I remember it was like, I was jonesing for airsoft guns. I wanted to go play airsoft with my friends. And then just being the grown man child that I am, it grew into firearms, and then this weird obsession with guns now. Uh, this is from YouTube. Quinn Quinlan Reed, how often do people recognize you in public, and if they do, does it concern you? P.S. If you're ever in Ohio, I want to do some BB Wars, come to the Airsoft Den. Best of wishes to you and yours, thank you for reading this. Exclamation point. Um, I've been recognized at least once off the top of my head, or no, twice. Uh, first time I think I can recall was coming back from my first time at SHOT Show, I was talking to someone, and I, of course, it was during COVID, so I had to wear the freaking stupid masks ironically <laughs> and they're like you sound really familiar like you sound in like your eyes and i was like he's like are you administrative results and i was like yeah you got me um second time i was at a local gun store and i was talking to these guys it was kind of the same thing we we're talking about like certain guns we've gotten the topic of fals and i was talking about my rhodesia themed fal and they're like wait are you administ and i was like all right yeah you got me this happened like here and there those are the two prominent ones i could think of off the top of my head so here's an interesting question. Thomas Andrew Owens, what are the best drills for beginners at the range? Now, this is going to be a tough one because I don't really consider myself a firearms trainer. Um, I did stuff and I learned, you know, from different guys. If you're anything, just go watch other guys that are much better pistol shooters than I am. And, you know, it's kind of like a cop-out answer. I like, for, for personal things I love to do when I go and shoot at the range, um, one of my favorite drills has been like a, a cold start drill shooting from around 25 yards away going for a headshot with your handgun. That's one of my favorite drills. But yet again, not a trainer, so you know, grain of salt. <laughs> this one is from Guilty Spark. Serious question here. I know you're a former LEO. What are your thoughts on the solution to bridge the gap of trust between the public and the police? I have had very bad experience with the cops in the past, not while doing illegal shit in parentheses, and the cops in the poor communities I have taught and had had very bad reputations. I come from one side of the issue. I'd love to hear your side. Um, this one's tough because I'm just one dude and I have one opinion and yeah, there's definitely a real concern with law enforcement and 
the country, right? It's kind of like the Miss America, like the, what is it, the, the Miss America universe? She's like, the country in the United States. Okay, so this is a very tough question. I have a lot of thoughts on this, and it's kind of like hard to formulate these thoughts because once I start talking about it, I kind of go off on this huge tangent. Um, you know, one thing I would say is better training for sure, better physical training, and making cops more athletic and better shooters and better at handling stress. Um, reason being, and also, I would also say a very important one is people skills and focus on your constitutional rights. I think there are cops that can lose that vision of like, hey, I'm a public servant. I'm here to serve the community. I am not like the boss man. Like, yeah, you're, you're technically, you are the representation, the, man, the physical manifestation of the law. Yeah, it's a tough one. I say a very important thing to help your interaction with cops, ultimately too, is kind of like knowing your rights, learning how the system worked, learning how society worked, learning like your civil rights, your lawful rights, like, it's a big help. Like, it definitely is a big help when if you're like worried about dealing with the cops, like, what, what do I do? What do I say? It's like, if at the end of the day, if you think you're in trouble, am I being detained? Uh, yes, I'd like to talk to my lawyer. That's pretty much it. Like, that's the best advice I can give you. I don't know where you're from. I don't know what kind of cops you're dealing with because people think like, in, like one agency over here is the same as all local munici municipalities. That's not the case. Different cop agencies are gonna have different cultures and it's a, it's a very hard issue to dissect, so. Uh, doing a ball club and making pizzas on a YouTube video. It's definitely not the guy to freaking break down the societal issues facing American policing. So, jeez. I tried though, for you. I tried. That's what matters is you. This one comes from Panda Ninja, fantastic username. Will you be making more movie slash video game inspired loadouts? It's like you don't even know me. Of course, it's like my job security. This is an excellent question from Mr. Russell Wood. Where does the white go when the snow melts? I don't know, Russell, you tell me. This is from Jack Little on Patreon. Is the consistent need to produce fresh content that meets needs both entertainment wise and funding wise as draining as it seems? Uh, yes and no, honestly, if I'm being pretty raw. There is a uh, logistical issue that faces making like new YouTube videos especially when you're trying to always like make them bigger and better, uh, both ammo, time, resources, editing, keeping it fresh and entertaining. It really does become challenging considering like the format that I am with the crackhead energy I try and bring to the channel. So yes and no, but I think logistically I've set myself up, especially with the people I work with, to be like this um, institution, I would say, or what's, what's a better word? Did you not silence your phone before the movies? Sorry. It's okay. I, I would say it's um, logistically, we've kind of greased the rails for the content creation process. So I think it really helped out a lot. So yeah, it, it is draining, but it's like, it's, it's not a bad part of the job because I love what I do so much. What's the matter with you? Jumbo Shrimp on Patreon. It's 1944. You can pick M1 Garand or M1941 Johnson. What would be your choice and why? I'm going M1 Garand. Yeah, the Johnson has 10 rounds. Technically, I think you can do the one and the two like we did in that video. Oh my God, there's something in my eye. There's something in my eye. Uh, but I still want the M1 Garand. I feel faster with the Garand. I've broken down and worked on my Garand over and over and over, so I'm very comfortable with how it works. I can't do the Johnson. I can. Wishing Chain from Patreon. What's the black vest from the MP7 and MP5 videos? That's an Armor Express carrier. That was the body armor carrier I used when I was a beat cop, and I figured it'd work perfectly if I was playing an uh, American Dutch DSI for an MP7. To YouTube. Do you think... Oh, geez. Maybe I should maybe filter some of these questions. From OJ Simpson. <laughs> Do you think Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone, and is there any chance you'll do an in-depth, super advanced testing of some magic bullet head, or magic bullet slash head, falling in a particular direction after being shot with the Carcano type stuff? That would be, um, I, don't, I think he, I think the CIA said they, they assassinated JFK. I'm pretty sure, I'd bank my money, he didn't act alone. As far as the testing goes, sure, we can give it a shot. I think Brant Herrera did a little bit of testing on his channel with the magic bullet, so... I mean, I can always try it. My takes, we can get even more science, but it's been kind of confirmed, I believe. Right? Didn't they, didn't they say they came out with it? I think like a month ago. Yeah, but no one cared. They're like, oh yeah, we know. They, so, usually, they usually don't care. Yeah, I was like, oh, well, I got, I got TikToks and dancing girls to watch. If you were to do another clone build, what would it be, modern or retro? That's from KCR. I think about, I'm going to do a modern Mark 18. Technically, I'm technically modern. It's going to be a Mark 18 clone build. And then I'll probably go back and I'll try and do a Gordon Car 15 build. From YouTube, Hunter Bradley, would you ever do a live meet and greet? I would love to get some merch signed. I did a live meet and greet in Finland. Uh, I would love to do a live meet and greet in the right setting. Nothing wrong with that to me. 
This is from Task Force Tundra on YouTube. How do you put together kits? No matter what you combine, your forever changing kit and it always looks dank as hell. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, funny enough, it's kind of like I do Savio scene at my garage, which maybe we'll do a tour video of my garage. I have a bunch of different kits. I have a bunch of different uniforms and outfits. It's kind of like a wardrobe department for a movie, but for LARPing. Uh, it kind of goes off the matching the theme as closely to the firearm we're looking at for the video. Oh, hey, go girl, hey, go girl. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, you can go girl. That's, uh, can't dox my dog. Uh, this is my dog referencing your last question, my, my golden retriever. Um, ATF prime target number one. She says, go girl, you go girl. All right, now we gotta clean the base where we're gonna be putting the pies. So I wet down a towel, a very dirty towel apparently. And then I scrape her in. Trying to get all that ash out of the way. Wow, it looks like another beautiful sunset. I love it here. Uh, how long do you think it will take for people to make tactical rail furniture upgrades for the PSA slash HMG STG44? And what would be the most disgusting build for an STG44? Um, I don't think it would take long at all, technically, if someone wanted to use a welding uh, device. Uh, I think ugly is just like anything from Call of Duty Vanguard Builder. This one, uh, that question was from Red Bandit 309 If you only had the money for one, would you choose NVGs or thermals? I think I would still go with night vision because it's how you navigate at night. Uh, ideally, you want to marry them together, both on your gun and on your eyes, like an ecotty of some kind. Like when you look through really good night vision and it has an ecotty, it's like you're the predator. It is unreal. And then you could pair that with an actually good thermal optic on a firearm. Like at night, you are like the, the apex thing out there. So I still think I'd probably go with night vision. That was, that question was asked by Christopher Wells on Patreon. This is a question from Piggy on Patreon. Do you do caffeine or smoke or have daily thing like that? If so, what? Yeah, my vices are, I'm a big caffeine person. I love coffee. I love rain energy drinks. I got hooked on caffeine. I'm not a big smoker in the sense that I'll smoke cigars, but I don't consider that true smoking. People have asked like, are you a smoker? We see you smoking videos. Those are stage cigarettes. Those are like screen cigarettes. They're like herbal mint. Like they're not real nicotine by any means and they're not like terrible I think for you. You don't want to smoke a bunch, but they're just for like the bit, you know. I, I love caffeine. Caffeine is my thing. And then occasional drinks. Cheers. This is, a, this is a fun question for me. This is from 50 on Patreon. What's been the most rewarding part of your YouTube journey so far? I think I think it was um, doing this. It started out as like a fun hobby. And then I saw like, hey, this has potential. If I really lean into it, I can maybe make this a YouTube channel and like have like a YouTube career, which sounds kind of cheesy. But then seeing it work out and like seeing the success that I've had, that's probably been the most rewarding if I'm being honest. It's like, oh, it's like a sigh of relief. It's like, you're kind of like, like you're holding on to the, like this electric fence and you're like, oh, oh, don't let go, don't let go. And then like it all of a sudden it works out. You know, of course I'm not like saying I've made it by any means because I'm still like fighting and I still, I, you know, I still want to get what's mine. But also another thing is like having that vision in your head of wanting to make a video and then pushing yourself to make the best piece of content that you can. Because don't get me wrong, there are probably guys out there that are way more talented at, than I am, way better than uh, I am at what I would do. And it's really cool to still see like your best effort come to light. And then not only like it, it gets made, but then a bunch of people enjoy it. Either they love it or hate it, right? But a lot of people enjoy it. So that's probably been the most rewarding. From YouTube, from um, Kefa Castle, K-E-F-A Castle. Sorry. If you could only grab one of your rifles in a hypothetical civil unrest, shit hits a fan scenario, which would you grab? And please say your blood diamond build. Honestly, it's not the most practical, but I'm gonna send my Blood Diamond build. So I wanna go out in style. eBerry232, what was your favorite gun to review so far? Also, what would you recommend for someone who wants a good balaclava? Talked about earlier in the video, our Turkish balaclava. Favorite gun so far, probably gonna be a toss up between the MP7 and the MG42. Uh, this one's from T643. What are some skills from your days as an LEO that you use on a regular basis? Uh, probably talking to people talking to people, using people skills, because like as a cop, you get a lot more done if you're friendly and nice than if you're like some, um, you know, 
commanding asshole. If you can like, of course there's a time and place for being that bad, like that, not bad, but like that mean guy. But using people skills, you'll go a lot You'll go, I should say, you'll go very far in life if you learn how to talk to people, if you learn how to be friendly and engaging, even with people that you're not trying to like Machiavellian get something from. Andrew Powell from YouTube. If you could make any pew pew from any games, movies, TV shows, what would it be? That's a tough, tall order. I don't know why the first, like the first thing that came to my mind was a thunder gun from Call of Duty Black Ops. That just sounds fun. Now this one's from Buddy Grimm on YouTube. Will you ever buy more different colored balaclavas amassing a collection of some sorts? Question mark. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I'm working on getting more. This is the green one. I've had the crocodile color and I recently just got my hands on a gray one for some even better LARP. So they're by far the best ball club. Of course I got some black ones, but um, I love, I think the crocodile one the most. I had to get these green ones because the crocodile were out of stock from where I was looking. Uh, Jacob F's asked, what is your preferred concealed carry piece? So it's been probably the Glock 19 for the longest time. And then I've started doing for, if I'm gonna do like a pistol video, I've started to carry that gun every day for as long as I can until it comes time to do the review. Right now, because we're also doing an Italian episode or a pizza episode, it's been the LTT uh, Beretta from Langdon. That's kind of repetitive, but so right now it's like, it really speaks to my Italian roots. And this thing, I love Berettas now. I never thought I'd be a simp for them this hard, especially uh, the LTT Beretta. It's, it's heavy, but dang, does it feel good in the hand. And it's like, it's Italian, it's Italian, you know? Hey yo, hey yo, where's, where's the Gabagoo? Where's, where's the Gabagoo? So right now it's the LTT Beretta because I'm currently at the time of this video doing the workup for the gun itself for video. So for YouTube's sake, this is unloaded in a prop gun. Uh, from Patreon, frag support. In a country where guns are frowned upon, Canada, could airsoft guns be a useful tool to train with? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to see why not. You just gotta know their limitations and the reality of them, but I mean, in theory, why not? From Patreon, and Natsu01, how long after the suppression of your 2A rights will the reptilian overlords show their true faces, or will chat GPT kill us all first? <laughs> um, I think now I'm more afraid of AI, seeing how good it is, and we're still in the infancy of it, and I think there's AI that is way more complex and advanced behind the curtain. This is getting a little tinfoil hat-ish. And then I think if you mix AI with Neuralink that Elon's working on. I think it's gonna be some scary times as like a normal dude. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be organic. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna put a chip in my brain with a super advanced AI. Uh, it just sounds a little, a little in timesy, you know what I mean? A little, a little sketchy. But I'm, I think I'm more worried about that than, than lizard people. When are you doing a remake of the Naruto? I don't watch anime. Are you really Danny Archer? No, sadly. Will you ever make a video comparing suppressor to loudeners? Eh, possibly. From Patreon, Carson Stevens asked, what is your grail gun? And if you've already acquired it, I have not. What gun are you in search of that's rare slash too expensive, et cetera? Uh, my grill gun would probably be owning my own MG42 or MP7. Gotten hands on, gotten to shoot it, got to run and gun it, but I don't own it. And I would like the chance of owning something, even if it's an MG3, you know, I'd have to jump through some government hoops, but I think they've been cracking down on SOTs and stuff like that. So, <sighs> you know, we'll, we'll see. The secret ingredient is crime. I don't know if I already answered Alex Alvarez on Patreon, but I'll cover this one again. Uh, what is your favorite drill slash drills to run on the flat range? I talked about um, how I'm not like a big training guy, but for me personally, if it comes to handgun, a cold start headshot from as far away as you can, typically it's 25 yards. And then for rifle stuff, I like smokers. I like getting cooked when I'm running a rifle. So like engage a target, run, 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 engage a target, run, run, run. Um, you know, despite him hating me. I do like the Casarda drill with the kettlebell. That was really fun to run. And I like that. I may steal that for myself. Stuff like that. Like stuff where it pushes you physically while you're shooting. I like that stuff. This one is from Leo Mace. How do you find the right woman? That's a great question. I have a beautiful wife and she's very lovely. And I found her at church. I would typically go with religious beliefs. You probably both are going to line up on that stuff. It's very important stuff. Then you can worry about political stuff. It's kind of like, I saw this Andrew Tate thing where he was essentially talking like, if it's kind of vulgar, but if you have sex with a woman good enough, she's gonna take on your beliefs. So it's up to you, King, <laughs> put in the work.
All right, she's a little, usually the first one's always on the crispier side. I like them like this. You may judge me on how you cook pizzas, but it's, uh, it's my rules, my house. Do you think that the aliens built the pyramids? Comment down below. From Jay Williams on YouTube, how often do you stop and think, wow, I can't believe that I get to do this as a job. Obviously, you've earned it, the success by working hard and creating something fun and entertaining, but it has to be pretty cool when you can stop and think about it. Uh, dude, honestly, every day. <laughs> honestly, like, not, not messing with you. It really blows my mind. Sorry, there's a pizza I gotta cook. It blows my mind every day, and it's something that like the gratitude of the job is not lost on me because I do feel very lucky and I do feel very grateful. And sometimes, like if I'm being really honest, sometimes you feel like you feel the sense of like, did I really earn this? <sighs> I might be getting too deep though. From unregistered gamer on YouTube, would you ever do fitness content on this or the second channel? Yeah. Also, I'm not like a personal trainer, but I'll do stuff like my own personal workouts. Yet again, being like in the theme of grain of salt kind of thing, because I'm not a personal trainer. Uh, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore, that's amore. I'm like half Italian. All right, first bite. First bite, everyone knows the rules. How is it? It's pretty good. Wait. Well, you heard it from her, folks. What was the hardest, this is from uh, Tomas Tepley, I'm assuming he's Finnish. What was the hardest part of the Finnish brutality? Also, have you learned useful from the Finns while in Finland, like daddy advice and stuff? Uh, the hardest part was going to be keeping my liver intact while being around the Finns. Useful stuff, probably sauna and ice baths. That really stuck with me and also long drink. Lardex, destroyer of beans. What do you do for fun outside of the YouTube sphere? Do you read, play games? I know you like rattle caning guns. Do you like arts and crafts besides that? Dude, I got hooked on Minecraft uh, during like Jan or Christmas break-ish. I got really hooked on Minecraft. As a grown man, I'm embarrassed to say how deep the hooks of Minecraft got in me. I'm, I'm on a little cleanse right now because I was playing it so much. I was like, oh, we'll play because, you know, everyone's doing Christmas stuff. I can play with all my buds. And then it just carried on for like a month straight. My wife was like, what are you doing? What are you doing with this Minecraft Squidward face looking people? Outside of that, working out, going airsoft, things, stuff like that. Use little nerd hobbies. Uh, LT Hammerfist 55. Is armor even worth the pain to carry? I feel like modern plate carriers don't offer enough surface area protection for it to be worth anything in real fight, but I don't know. I'm assuming they are, and I'm gonna carry one in the right circumstances, because I don't want to die. Dank gank, would installing a B25U with a foregrip on a pistol classify as an NFA item, technically an angled foregrip. What the overlords don't know won't hurt them. As we know that you are a clone of Grantham, are you concerned about being replaced by a newer version with upgraded combat capabilities? This question was asked by James. Uh, of course, absolutely, you know. Being a clone, your job security isn't always guaranteed. Uh, Noah Cladivo asks, thoughts on shooting in VR? I'm sure it's fun. Is there a training application if that's what you're asking? Sure, I don't know. Maybe you haven't tried it yet. It is more of the wholesome things to do in VR. Uh, Roots Puppel asked, as a German, I'd like to know if you are part German or why is it that you do so many videos referring to German guns? I really enjoy your German-related content. Keep it up, Bruder. Um, yeah, I actually am part German too. Um, I think German guns are really cool. And I think there was this big conflict, or two of them at least, where the Germans were involved. So it's historical. They have really cool guns. Honestly, they look cool in both of those conflicts. Sure, they got pretty naughty in the latter one, but how many balaclavas do you own? Jay asked a lot. Who would win a thumb wrestling match? You or Grand Thumb? Best of three. That was asked by Jay Finlaw88. Uh, for sure, me, I have very strong hands. At least I think stronger than Grand Thumbs. Thumbs. Skaven Gur asks, where did you get your balaclava? The internet. I have a guy. You're asking a little bit too personal questions. Are you a fed? Are you a fed? Are you wearing wire? Are you wearing wire? James Bingus asks, did Brandon Herrera 
accidentally face reveal you in his SHOT Show meme review video. No, he didn't. I'm not in that picture. I'm gonna murder your name, but Diodon Saev? If you could restart your YouTube career, what would you change, if anything, at all? I think I would treat it more like a business early on, like really be more business, like, cause I didn't think it was gonna ever turn into like what it is now. And I think I would treat it like it's going to be something bigger than it is at the time. So yeah, getting the logistics on the back end propped up. Like I remember I had to deal with a bunch of like, you know, LLCs, getting all this information done. It was like, I never thought I was gonna have to do that. So handling that stuff up front. Sub G asked, can we tell the world about us now? No, I'm embarrassed by you. Chase Siegler asked, what is the reason you decided to start your YouTube? Um, I have this weird desire where I love to wear balaclavas and be on camera. Comrade American, people ask who is admin, but never how is admin. I'm good, thanks man. Thanks for uh, looking out. Latigo Morgan, is a hot dog a sandwich? Ooh, that's a very, uh, very hot topic. I'm gonna go with sure. It has to be, right? It's on bread, it's got meat, it's just in a weird orientation. DTSV Viperman, do you have a Chris Vector? No, I do not have a Chris Vector. I think they are cool, I think they are neat, I do not own one. Spaghetti Autism. <laughs> Spaghetti Autism asked, what is the gray hooded woolen thing you were wearing in the PPSH video? That is a uh, swarma hoodie thing I got from Finland. I didn't realize you guys were gonna love those so much, so I have some coming on the way that should be for sale this year. Drake Viet asked, who is the most based person ever? Technically Jesus. Mick asked, can you remove the camera from my toilet? You don't need to know when I'm on the toilet. The problem is, is I know you're on the toilet right now, Mick. I like them apples. Thomas Bain, welcome to my home. I just watched the minigun video while eating wonton soup. Mikasa Tsukasa, has Mrs. Admin seen your face before? And if so, that why the balaclava? Um, answered the why earlier. She has never seen my face and it is the leverage I have for her not to leave because she probably thinks I'm somewhat handsome. Very good question. Thank you for letting me into your house. Adrian Rico 4, Adrian Rico 4 make that name when you were 12? I'm sorry, that's good. Can we unveil your face? LOL, it's one of the wonders of the world and life's mysteries. And let the story arc play out. Adrian Rico 4, let the story arc play out. Calvin Berkeley asked, Cowboy LARP win Papa? Very soon, watch this. I'm the rootinest, tootinest, outlaw shit. Lakes asked, what do you EDC? Currently, I just showed you, I'm currently rocking that Beretta as my EDC. God, shut up! The dog wins this round. Ha ha, you are ready, my name, win AK-50 review. I don't know, whenever Brandon gets done with building it. LMT, life advice to a youngin, question mark? All right, listen up, this is very important. Listen closely, work out every day, get as strong as you physically can. Save as much money as you can. Don't waste it on frivolous things. Don't get them pregnant. Whatever girl you're having sex with, do not get her pregnant, okay? Don't do it. Unless you're married, it's going to mess you up financially. Marrying the right woman will set you up very nicely. Just work on yourself and make yourself a desirable man that would attract a desirable woman. That is very important. How do you feel about in range TV? Ibrahim Sharif. Well, I'm gonna be honest, he doesn't like me that much. I'll be the bigger man. I'm also can bench more. I guarantee you I can bench more than Carl. God! Let's see that, dude? Welcome to the gun show. Freaking First Amendment. Second Amendment. Uh, Captain Funk 1, are you related to Travis Haley? Yes, I am from one of his offshoot clone cycles. Next question. Um, Richard, Peck Richard Peckerwood, how many men have you kissed? Savio, how many times have we kissed? Rots, Rots Papel? Rots Papel? Are you a Fed? Heard reasonably arguments that you are. Um, not a Fed. All right, clearly, look how based I am. What if that was a honeypot? <laughs> if you were, if I was a fed, you would know it. Jarged said, why so serious? Matt, what advice would you give to a dumb college freshman? Kind of goes back to the young guy advice. Get as physically fit as you can. Save your money as much as you can. I would avoid going to college debt if you can also. 
I don't know what your situation is, but if you're out there, you're like, I want to go to college. And if you can get a full ride scholarship, that's awesome. But going really deep into debt for a, like a, a degree that is not going to yield those results fast, I'd say, is kind of a bad idea in my book. Keep in mind, I'm a college dropout and it worked out well for me at least, but uh, being really into debt for a degree is like very scary. Also, don't get her pregnant unless she's your wife. Are you Christian or Mormon? I'm a Christian. Do you like Mary Juana? That's the devil's lettuce. Vas Yanovich, how much do you sit on a toilet daily? It depends how much coffee and red meat I've eaten that day. Guys, this has been a great question and answer, and I'm very humbled and honored that you would take the time to write these half thought out questions to me. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, maybe we have to do this again in the future. I had a blast. I ate great pizza. Savio, how was the pizza? The dog was barking, so I had to bring it inside, but it was a nice night out, but it was lovely. So if you really enjoy these question and answers, you let me know in the comment section down below. Leave some more comments, maybe some more questions. I can go back and reference this and we'll have a good time. If you notice, those Patreons got prioritized questions, or at least I read all their questions as opposed to the non-patrons. It is what it is. It's the free market. All right, leave me alone. All right, gentlemen, as always, I'm bouncing out. I got stuff to do. I'll see you guys on the flip. Flip me out. Mm -hmm.